In this video we're going to talk about uh, Tech Team's number 919 12-piece stem caster bushing slash sleeve set. We're going to talk about what you use them for, how you use them, and how they get installed. There are probably a couple of reasons why you might want this fitting. The first one is if you are actually building a piece of furniture and you need to have a protective sleeve on the inside of a hole so you can fit a uh, stem caster into it. Another reason is that um, if you are replacing a uh, worn out fitting on an uh, existing piece of furniture and or there is no metal sleeve or bushing on the inside to protect the, uh, the bore of the hole. The fitting that I have in my hand right here is the solution to that particular challenge. And what this is, this is a steel fitting that fits inside the bore that you've drilled into your into your um, uh, chair leg and then the uh, stem of the caster goes right inside that and it makes a good secure fit so that nothing moves around or wobbles and since it's made out of steel it, uh, it protects the inside of the bore and the piece of the wood and you end up with a uh, very long-term and satisfactory solution. This particular fitting is tapered. In other words, the diameter at this end where my thumb is is less than the diameter here. In addition, it has teeth. And what happens is when you push it into the bore and the piece of the wood and you smack this with a hammer or a mallet, it um, secures it into the piece of the wood and uh, then after that you push your caster into it. For a proper fit of the grip neck caster, which is exactly what our ball caster has on it, you must have the correct interface bushing. This bushing creates a socket that the caster stem fits in perfectly and then latches into place. You're going to find that there are two different applications for this particular product. One is in a, a round furniture leg like this, which of course this has been turned on a lathe, so what you end up with is a center point, which is very easy to locate. The other situation is a square furniture leg, and we've worked this one over a little bit already, but the way you find the center on this is you draw diagonals. And when those diagonals cross, bingo, right there, that is the center. And that's going to be where you want to uh, put your bushing and then insert your um, caster stem. Installation is uh, rather easy for the, the average handyman. And the tools you're going to need for this are going to be a drill index with appropriate size drill bits, a power drill, a hammer or a mallet, and particularly if you're using the hammer, you're going to need safety glasses also. Okay, first things first. We have to know what size hole to drill. And therefore, we need to measure this. And we see that this has a diameter of 0.35 inches. Now we know that 0.375 inches is 3 eighths of an inch. And that is going to be the size hole that we're going to drill. We also need to know how deep to make our hole. And here we can see that the, uh, the length of the tube on this fitting is roughly 1.12, 1.13 inches, which uh, is roughly 1 and 1 eighth inches. However, that may not be the end of our story because the length of the stem on the caster is 1.50 inches. So therefore, we have to make the hole we put into the bottom of the leg at least 1 and a half inches, and we're going to opt for 1 and 5 eighths inches, which is 1.625 inches. The first thing we want to do is make a pilot hole. We've selected a 1 8 inch drill bit and lucky for us, the, uh, when we push that drill bit all the way back into the chuck, we see it's just about 1.65 inches, which is just about perfect for what we want to do. Keep in mind, you're probably going to be working on a piece of furniture that's turned upside down, so the leg is going to be stable. For the purposes of our demo, this is the easiest way to show this. Now, we're going to drill our pilot hole, just like this. The 3 8 inch drill bit we're going to use is much longer than the 8 inch bit, so what we have to do there is we have to put an indicator on the drill bit so we don't drill too deep. And here we've um, set a piece of regular electrical tape on there, 1.75 inches, and this will give us a depth that will be very close to what we want. There we go. The next step is to insert 
a bushing, and then using the mallet or the hammer, smack it into place so that the teeth solidly bite the bottom of the leg. Then it's simply a matter of pushing your caster stem into the fitting and now you have a perfect installation.